hello everybody welcome to this video training uh, today we're gonna study how host from different network can communicate uh, IP routing is what we use to have communication between networks in order to do IP routing you will need a router so if you have a network without a router that means you cannot do IP routing so to understand this concept of IP routing let's go right now to Cisco packet tracer in this top in this topology you see I have two routers two switches and an each switch is connected to two PCs we have uh, we have three network like you see up here I have network the first network which is called network A and has the network address of 192.168.1.0 with the 24-bit subnet mask and the second network uh, called network B uh, and that uh, and that network has the network address of 192.168.2.0 with the 24-bit subnet mask and the third network is uh, uh, is called network C and it has the network address of uh, 192.168.3.0 so I already assigned IP address to the devices so I, as you see PC0 has the IP address of 192.168.1.100 PC1 has the ad IP address of 192.168.1.101 router 1 interfaces that belong to network A which is interface uh, FA0 slash 1 has the IP address of 192.168.1.1 and router 1 interface that belong to network B uh, which is interface uh, FA0 slash 1 has the IP address of 192.168.2.1 and router 2 interf uh, interfaces that, that belong to network B has the IP address of 192.168.2.2 and that interface is FA0 slash 0 and router 2 interface that belong to network C which is interface FA0 slash 1 has the IP address of 192.168.3.2 so PC2 has the IP address of 192.168.3.102 PC3 has the IP address of 192.168.3.103 first of all because I'm gonna try to go uh, step by step to explain you the, this concept of IP routing so let's assume uh, now PC1 wants, wants to talk to PC0 so uh, if you watch, watch my previous video you should know what's gonna happen so PC uh, since PC1 and PC0 are on the same network uh, what PC1 will do is send an ARP request to get the MAC address for PC0 once it gets the MAC address it can now start the communication PC between uh, the, the communication can start between PC1 and PC0 that that thing is very simple so now the second uh, the second uh, thing I'm gonna assume is let's uh, assume that PC1 now wants to communicate with PC3 so since PC1 and PC3 are not on the same uh, network so PC1 must have what we call a default gateway so the default gateway in is nothing more than the uh, the IP address of the uh, router that say that, that that are on the same network with with PC1 it must be a router it must be an IP address of a router that are on the same network as PC1 so we can conclude up here that so PC1 will have the it a default gateway of 192.168.1.1 because that's the only en uh, router interface that has this uh, that are on the same network with PC1. So that's how you define a, de a, a default gateway. So once PC1 got this default gateway, so uh, uh, the next thing I'm going to ask you what's what's going to be the next thing PC1 will do? Huh. So you may think that PC1 will send an ARP request asking for the MAC address for PC3. So if you think that way. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to blame you because a lot of people don't understand this concept of uh, ARP outside the local alien network. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try to uh, go to simulation mode up here. And I'm going to edit the filter up here. As you see. Okay, now I'm going to try to send a ping from PC1 to PC uh, to PC3. So you're going to see what's going to happen right now. So I already configured PC1. I give him a default gateway. I will see up here. So I'm gonna send the uh, I'm gonna send the ping. I'm gonna do ping. 192.168.1. Dot one. 
that 103 that's that's a pc3 ip address so i'm gonna send that thing so as you see those packet it's gonna be two packet as you know it's gonna be first the first packet is gonna be the ARP, uh, request let's find out what's gonna be in, the, in that our request so I'm, I'm gonna send this packet up here right now so you see the ARP request is uh, going so let's open up this packet up here so as you see up here the ARP request the source uh, IP address is the PC1 IP address but the destination IP address is PC uh, is the router and uh, IP address so what we, what we can conclude is PC1 is sending an ARP request uh, to get the MAC address for 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 its default gateway so the to get the MAC address of the of the router uh, <laughs> So, so uh, you may ask the question why PC one didn't send an ARP request to ask for the MAC address of PC three. The reason why is if PC, uh, as you see, let's let's forward the packet. You see, broad, uh, the ARP request is ARP request is a broadcast uh, message. So this broadcast, you see, it will stop here because router do not forward broadcast. That's the reason why, in order to solve this problem, PC one has to send a broadcast uh, an ARP request ask for asking for the uh, MAC address of its of its default gateway. So you have to understand that because this is a uh, this is a very powerful concept. A lot of people don't understand. So once it got the the IP address, you see now PC one is ready to send the ping. So so this packet is now the ping packet. If you open it, you see it it, it is an IMC uh, ICMP ICMP packet, and now it has the source source IP. It's the, it is 192.168. Uh, that's PC one IP address. And the destination IP now is PC3 IP address. It is 192.168.3.103. So as you see up here. So now let's keep moving. So the packet is going to go to router 1. So, and now you see what happened. What happened, you see the packet is now, it, it now has uh, a source IP of 192.168.1.1. That's router 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 one and uh, ip address and the destination ip is pc1 ip address the reason why is you see you see the reason why is the packet is dropped <laughs> the packet the icmp didn't go so if you uh, stop the simulation let's open up over here you see it say destination host unreachable the reason why is the reason why we don't we cannot get to PC3 is router do have what we call a routing table. And the, the routers use the routing table in order to send packets to the remote networks. So uh, what I mean about that, uh, if, a rou if router 1 wants to send uh, 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 this ping packet to, the, to PC3, rou the router 1 must know the network uh, where PC3 belongs. And we know that PC3 IP address belongs to network C. So, uh, I'm going to tell you right now that router 1 don't know network C. That's the reason why it drops the packet. And in order to verify that, we use this command called show, show IP route in order to see what's inside this uh, routing table. To show IP route, we do show IP route up here. So, as you see, if you do show IP route, we see that the router only knows about this network. That's how you read the routing table. And so the only networks the router know right now is uh, the network that are directly connected. So there are two methods we can populate a routing table. We can do it m manually by telling the router the network it should have on its, on its routing table. That's what we call a static routing. Or we can use a routing protocol. That's what we call dynamic routing. So in this example, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and do a, a simple static routing. So we're going to tell uh, network, uh, we're going to tell the router to have network C on its routing table. So how you can do that? So let's go back, let's go to the router. We're going to do, uh, we're going to go to global config mode. Conf T. And we're going to do uh, IP route. Don't forget this command. It is very important. IP route and let's use the question mark let's use the question mark so it's going to ask you for the destination prefix the prefix 
this is uh, just like the destination network so what network we want to want we want to reach right now okay the network we want to reach is 192.168.3.0 network so uh, let's use the question mark again it's going to ask the prefix masks uh, that's uh, the network mask as you know the network mask is the uh, is the 24 bit network mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 so uh, let's use the question mark again it's going to ask you for the forwarding router address so it is all the interface address the uh, all the interface you can you want to use so uh, to explain you this you can use if you want this ip address the neighbor the router uh, that is uh, uh, the neighbor for router one so it's going to be router two ip address like 192.168.2.2 or you can use the interface but for me i advise you always to use the ip address because for me <laughs> i i feel a lot safer with the ip address than using the uh, the, the interface but you have the choice you know I'm going to do 190, uh, the, uh, the IP address is going to be 192.168.2.2. Uh, so that's the router 2 IP address uh, that are on the same network with router 1. We can uh, press enter now. If you go back to uh, show IP route, let's do show IP route. Show IP route. As you see up here now, we have the network. So that's how you can manually add a network on the routing table of a router. So the, I hope you guys understand that. So now let's try to send the ping again. So let's go back to simulation mode. I'm going to try to uh, do the ping again from PC1 to PC3. So the ping is ready to go, you know. Let's try to forward the, the packet. You see, as you see... The packet is going as you see now the uh, those pc can communicate so that's how you you know how you uh, can understand this concept of ip routing i hope you guys learned from something from this video i would like to thank you for watching and i see you for my next one